So today I want to talk about how to install the transient reducing auxiliary plug, the battery version of it, okay? So when you get one, you'll notice that it has a red lead and a black lead. Obviously the red lead's gonna to go to the red lead of the battery and the black lead's gonna to go to the black lead, okay? Now, it comes with these quarter inch ring terminals installed on it. And those are meant to install, uh, essentially for most batteries, on this little nut here where the clamp is, all right, where the battery clamp is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the black one here on the top. I'm going to install the red one here uh, to connect this device across it. All right. All right. Now, when you're working with the battery, the hot terminal, you have to be careful that you don't touch anything conductive from it to the frame or it to the negative terminal. All right. Or you'll end up uh, causing a lot of energy to flow from the battery and that can be quite dangerous. So go ahead and tighten this guy up. All right. Now. My particular battery has this little plastic cover just to keep junk from getting on your terminal. It's not going to close with this. I'd have to clip a little bit of this plastic out to get it to latch back down, um, but I'm not going to do that on the video, okay? I could also just leave it up and just put a piece of tape if I wanted to to hold it down. So this is the trap installed across here. Now what it's doing is it's acting as a transient suppressor. If the voltage gets too high across the battery, let's say from an EMP that generated uh, high voltages in the vehicle cabling, uh, the transient protection device will turn on and limit that voltage so that it doesn't get so high that it causes damage to the systems that the battery is connected to in close proximity here. All right, so it's part of a multi-point protection system that I'm recommending uh, for protecting against an EMP. So one thing to point out is you want to make sure that when you close the hood that this, this transient protection device doesn't interfere with it and end up striking the bottom of the hood or end up causing some damage or something like that. So make sure that it's placed somewhere out of the way. Um, you can also take a small piece of Velcro or even a piece of tape and secure it somewhere, whether you secure it to, you know, another cable or whether you secure it down onto the body somewhere so that it doesn't move, all right? So every car is a little bit different, so you have to kind of figure out the best place to mount it and make sure that it doesn't move for you. But the installation is pretty straightforward. You attach the negative terminal first, get it nice and secure, attach the positive terminal, again, paying special attention that you don't short that out to anything that might cause damage. Uh, and then go ahead and secure the device, making sure that it doesn't interfere with the hood and that it stays uh, in place where you want it. All right, so that's how the, the trap B is installed on a vehicle.